I grew up as typical petrohead. I loved the smell of the fume when you first went to the shop and opened the door. Intoxicating. My name is Tom Matano. I'm the executive director for the School of Industrial Design at the Academy of Art University in San Francisco. You know, I grew up in Tokyo in the 50s. I remember I was with my great uncle's Cadillac. I loved to sit, you know, in a passenger seat and uh, was eating uh, ice cream and never melted away in a bright summer day. And I realized it was air conditioner. You know, we didn't have air conditioner in the house at a time, so that was fascinating. And I think that caught me into this whole field of petroheads. I was in engineering school, and I didn't quite like the study that I was doing. And I was doing part-time with the ad agency, designing the graphic for the catalog, you know, brochures and stuff. And the art director said, if you want to be a designer, you have to go to school. You cannot just blend into us. So then I started looking for school. And one of my classmates' brother, he told me, draw something. So I said, well, mm, I used to doodle cars. Maybe if you really want to get into school, right? I said, yes. Okay, draw cars. <laughs> so I drew six pieces of cars and put together a portfolio. Sure enough, I got in in two days. And then my final semester was uh, General Motors sponsorship. So I had to move to Detroit. First day at GM is simply amazing. A chief designer came out. He pointed out to my desk that this is where you're gonna sit. So I sat there and opened the sketch pad and start sketching. And when you were at school, you would do all the drawing at home by yourself in the middle of the night, in the dark. Well, here I am in the bright daylight, a lot of other people around you, and to sketch. I mean, you know, just totally intimidated. So I had this little sketch, and at the end of the day, my boss came in, put the hands on my shoulders, and told me, you know, normally we don't let those sketches go out of the door, but this one I okay for you to take home, so just put the dates on and take it home and keep it. That's your first professional drawing. I was thinking of what if, you know, if I could go to Europe and learn one design will last 10 years. So I started applying to European companies and I got the BMW. The 3 Series was just about coming out, the E30. And my, my assignment was a new 3 Series that yet to come out and then replacement 10 years later. So that's the full process of BMW, 10 year cycle and another 10 years in the marketplace. So I've seen sort of a full you know, spectrum of design processes in BMW. And then Mazda said, we're gonna start the studio in Southern California. You know, I didn't ask for money or anything. Yes. <laughs> My challenge was if I create something intentionally become a timeless. That was my own personal goal as a designer. And I had a chance to exercise it with Mazda Studio. So Miata is one of those that I wanted to be as timeless as possible. If the hand doesn't stop anywhere on the surface, usually the car have a potential to be timeless. My idea of you know, designing is always that 25 years ahead. That will free you up with all the restriction you have. Oh, we don't have a technology, we don't have this, we don't have that. Coming here teaching to students about that is the main thing is to think 25 years will free you to explore any idea they may have without a fear of people think you're crazy.